Hello everybody and welcome to some more fighter subscriber where you've sent me a bunch of fighters we've put them through a preliminary round and now the best will have to run the gauntlet against these a selection of my own fighters. This will be the sixth craft of the 12 to make it this far so after this video we will be exactly halfway through this round so um yeah let's get straight to it let's go and meet the fighter we'll be putting through its paces today. This is the KX-42-3 Inquisitor by Ehrlich, as in licking the air. I'm not sure how well that would actually go as an endeavour, but I might be overanalyzing this. Anyway, yes, uh, this is another drone. It is powered by two Saturn engines. It is armed with six AMRAMs, four Sidewinders, and more excitingly, two Gallate cannons. And I'm really hoping we get to see them in some proper action later on. Uh, an interesting design choice on this craft is the use of three air intakes. Uh, this season we have seen a lot of craft being disabled by having their air intakes blown off, so uh, hopefully this will be a bit more resilient to that kind of damage. Our usual test flight went okay. Uh, it's a reasonably manoeuvrable craft. Uh, it could perhaps do with a little bit more wing area, but uh, apart from that, no major issues. There is a slight problem if you're trying to fly this craft by hand, uh, in that it has a single ECM jammer set off to one side, without anything on the other side to counterbalance it. So uh, if, for instance, you try and pull a hard turn, it uh, it will induce a roll. But the AI doesn't seem to mind. Uh, the Inquisitor, during the preliminary round, did manage to win three of its five fights. So we uh, we should be looking at a, uh, a solid but not spectacular contender here. So uh, now it's time for us to go and see if it lives up to those expectations and maybe even exceeds them. As normal, the first challenge the Inquisitors will face will be a fight against my club tails. Let's get them up into the air. And so the first fight starts. There's been a lot of missile kills in this uh, this season of the competition. But with these craft armed with the Gowate, I am hoping for a little bit of up-close combat. I know it sounds a bit weird to sort of hope that my own craft gets shredded, but it's, it's Gowates. You want to see them shredding some craft, so um, however that needs to be done. The uh, the Inquisitor's breaking low. Another drone in the competition. Drone's been very popular. Some suggestion they are a little overpowered just by the uh, the uh, the natural weight saving you gained, which is it's one of the reasons that they, uh, they won't be allowed in the next season of Fighter Subscriber, but... Uh, Allowed in this season and doing very well to boot. More missiles going back and forth. No missiles, no missile kills yet. The uh, the Inquisitors still got another volley of Amrams left in them. Some of these missiles look to be going close. No, this Inquisitor, this KX-44 manages to dodge those. It's not going to be too long though before the... Um, oh, that looks like an explosion up there. Yes, Jebediah Kerman's club tail is is well and truly out of action. Stripped of its engine, stripped of almost all of its right wing surfaces, and it is very much advantage to the Inquisitors at this point. Valentina Kerman and Daphne Kerman, their craft still going strong. This Inquisitor pulling hard about, launches another Amram down to the Sidewinders, and this is where the competition always gets interesting. The, uh, the, uh, the Sidewinders very very effective at close range, below about four kilometers. I'm thinking, no. No, that must have been another missile kill. Another one of the club tails just blown out of the air, reduced to just a cloud of debris there. Valentina Kerman, the last hope for my own craft this time. And here come the Gowates. She's having to pop some countermeasures. There's a missile incoming as well. But uh, it looks like you're going to have to go, Valentina. So if you can make it through the Gowates, that'd be very much appreciated. No such luck. Although some hits might be coming in here. It's the missile that uh, that strips Valentina Kerman of her engines and makes her a sitting duck for both any further missiles and for any more gunfire. That Inquisitor trying to turn hard around. Valentina Kerman just presenting too slow a target at the moment. Valentina Gurman selects a, selects a sidewind. I don't know if she's going to try and get a quick revenge kill before she's taken out or crashes into the ocean. Another Inquisitor just goes straight past her. This other one bearing down upon her. 
Where are we? More Gawait gunfire. It's not that accurate, the Gawait. Oh, here comes a missile, though. This might be it. And indeed it is. That is a clean sweep for the Inquisitors in this first fight. So uh, let's, not, uh, let's not waste any time. Let's move on to the next one. So a good performance there from the Inquisitors, although still no Gawait kills yet. Although... Uh, Maybe that will change as the K-42s take their turn against my Panthers. Let's get this one going. The 8km mark is reached. The competition begins. All of our craft turn to fight. The Inquisitors get away their first volley of missiles. And uh, before too long, everyone will inevitably, as usual, start breaking low to dodge. Just whilst this... Uh, whole game of missile tennis continues. I'll be honest, I wasn't really expecting them to, uh, expecting, the, expecting the Inquisitors to have that easy a time against the Club Tails. I mean, to put it into broader context, they did do uh, quite well in their, um, as I already mentioned, quite well in the preliminary round. They, uh, in the uh, the standings from that, they only just came behind the uh, the P69 Slapter, which is currently second in the lead on the leaderboard with uh, 17 points. So, not a bad craft. I just I didn't expect them to have that little edge. Although they uh, they will be tested more thoroughly as this uh, as this competition goes on. Closing in now. Another Amram from this craft might be a little close for Amrams, but now the Gawait start. Coming from two... Oh! The Inquisitors nearly had a little bit of a... Not a friendly fire incident. A, should we say inappropriate combat romance? This Inquisitor turning hard again. Trying to... A little bit of that instability I was talking about there. But turns about. Tries to bring guns to bear onto the Gawait. That un instability, of course, won't help as these craft try to line up those Gawaits. The Panther that's in its sight does manage to loose a couple of missiles. The Inquisitor goes for missiles as well. That is a uh, Sidewinder. That's a close range. That is... That is one of the Inquisitors gone. Looks to be a missile kill. The other Inquisitor... Where's the Inquisitor that was uh, firing guns? Seems to have given up on the guns, launches a missile. Yeah, once we get into Sidewinder territory, that's where... Uh, that's where we can expect the casualties, the uh, the fatalities to come thick and fast, but uh, not just yet. There we go, though. One Sidewinder at about two kilometres. And that... That is one of the Panthers, I think. No, that's another one of the Inquisitors. Was that shot from this crop? Was that a friendly fire incident? Two of the Inquisitors are down and, well, not quite down and up, but uh, it's not looking good for this one. Does seem to have a missile incoming. Taking a while to get to him, though. The last healthy Inquisitor, then, with a lot of work to do. As I've mentioned several times throughout Fighter Subscriber, no craft has ever come back from... Well, it's not 3-1 down, is it? It's, um... One of the Panthers got taken. Another one of the Panthers got, has been taken out. I am missing the kills here at the moment. Valentina Kerman, what are you playing at? You have the, um... The last healthy Inquisitor on your tail. And the last healthy Inquisitor manages to take out Valentina Kerman. I'm not... Yeah, she must have been, um... What, what's she sh firing that missile at? I'm not sure we'll ever know. But uh, yeah, the Inquisitors take this second fight as well, although not quite as perfectly. As I said, not a perfect victory for the Inquisitors there, but uh, it does gain them another four points, meaning that so far this episode they have ten points in total, which uh, will put them into the top four of the leaderboard, for the moment at least, at the expense of the F-55. But we can um, we can talk more about that later. For now, though, the Inquisitor faces its toughest opponent yet in the form of my Red Hawk. Let's get this one started. Okay. 
So, the final fight. Ten points already. We'll put them either third or fourth, depending on the tie-break criteria, although they, uh, I don't think they can go any higher. I think they can only reach 16 points as things stand. So, uh, yes, uh, third or fourth is definitely where they will, um, where they will end up. Everybody breaking low, missiles flying back and forth. Still no, oh my word, that is one of the Red Hawks shredded. Ripped to pieces already. Another one comes in. Oh, that is not good news. That is not good news for the Red Hawks. Daffy Kerman and Jebediah Kerman remain. Valentina Kerman, the unlucky pilot, to make that early exit. Jebediah manages to loose a, another Amram quickly. Is maybe going a little too tail onto that missile. Just about manages to pull that one out of the bag. Avoid that one. Uh, popping chaff as he goes. What's going on there? Is that one of the one of the Inquisitors has gone as well? Long range. This long range missile tennis has claimed two two casualties apiece. That one goes very close. Jebediah now with the sidewinders at kind of about the perfect range for them. Is this one coming in for Jebediah? That one's looking very close. And it's mutual kills for Jebediah and his Inquisitor opponent. Daffy Kerman now, trying desperately to avoid what must be a Sidewinder by this point, tries to come about. Launches a Sidewinder of her own. That might be... Oh! Didn't quite make it. I thought that was it for a second. I thought that was almost the perfect Sidewinder kill. We'll go for the guns now, though. It's a joust! Neither craft comes off uh, the better for that one. The one remaining Inquisitor comes around. That's a Sidewinder! And that is what I thought would happen earlier. So just the uh, just the two victories for the Inquisitor, Inquisitor today, but uh, they have put up a hell of a fight. I predicted before the fight started that the KX-42-3 Inquisitor would be a, a solid but not spectacular fighter, and I don't think I was too far off. I think it did a little better than I was expecting. Um, I think I was expecting that little inherent instability to affect it uh, some more than it did. We saw a little bit of it, but uh, clearly it didn't affect it that much uh, over the totality of the three fights. On to the matter of the scores then, and if we bring up the leaderboard we can see that with eight kills and four survivors, the KX-42-3 is currently sat on 12 points inside the top four. Uh, no longer in the top four, however, is the F-55XF Imperator. A beautiful craft with a rich pedigree in this competition and others, but sadly we will not be seeing it in this season's final. A massive thank you to Ehrlich for this craft and uh, to all of you for coming along to watch. Uh, if you have enjoyed today's video and you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, following me on Twitter, getting involved with the Discord, all that kind of stuff down below. Uh, sadly, entries to Season 3 of Fighter Subscriber are now closed. We've had the preliminary round and everything. Uh, but if you want to send me your craft anyway, then feel free. I will uh, try to feature it in one of my regular mailbag streams. I'll put the email address down in the description along with everything else. Um, I will be back soon with some more Fighter Subscriber, but for now, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.